Hello Mr Price here and this is your video on the Unit 5 PLT2 on double fractions. Let's go straight in. Now, uh, we're going to expand these. We have our handy um, uh, example here to help us out. So we're going to just bottle it for most of them. So I'm going to multiply x by x to get x squared. I'm going to multiply x by 10 to get positive 10x. I'm going to multiply positive 4 by x to get positive 4x and positive 4 by 10 to get 40. Okay, and if you want to, you can put in your little poly the power in here just to help you out. And then we're going to simplify. So x squared, and here's where I'm not prepared with uh, another colored pen. So uh, here we are. So I have an x squared there, another x's. So x squared. I have a positive 10x and a positive 4x. That combines to make positive 14x. And then you've got a plus 40 on the end here, which has nothing to combine with. That stays like so. Okay, next one. Okay, don't have a huge amount of space, but we'll give it a go. So 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 3x times 4 is 12x. 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times 4, positive 8. And now simplify. So I've got a 6x squared here. No other x squareds, so 6x squared. I have a positive 12x and a positive 4x. So that is going to be positive 16x and just a positive 8 left over and that's my question finished. Okay, next question. I have 4x times x. That is 4x squared. I've got 4x times 2 is positive 8x. I have negative 5 times x, which gives me negative 5x. And negative 5 times positive 2 is negative 10. Okay, I then look for my um, similar things to um, simplify. So 4x squared, no other x squared, that stays the same. I have an 8x and a negative 5x, so that combines to give positive 3x. So if you start at 8 and go down by 5, you'll end up at positive 3. And then a minus 10, negative 10 left over. Okay, for this next question, I'm going to do it on a blank bit of paper because I'm not going to have enough room to fill it in this space here. So, my question is x plus 3, x minus 2, x plus 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm almost going to cover this bit up and I'm going to pretend that it's just that question there. So, poly the power of the first one. x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. 3 times x is positive 3x. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Okay, now... Because I've ignored this, at the moment, I've only changed this bit to this bit. But at the moment, these aren't the same because I haven't included the x plus 4 in there. So I'm going to put in the x plus 4, which is a bit I haven't touched yet. Okay, now simplify. I'm not going to do it in blue because we should be getting the hang of this now. So the x squared uh, plus x minus 6 and then x plus 4. Okay, so now I want to multiply all of this by this. So each one of these should have a line connecting to each of these. So x squared times x is x cubed. x squared times 4 is positive x squared. x times x is x squared. x times 4 
is 4x, and a negative 6 times x is negative 6x, negative 6 times 4 is negative uh, 24. Okay, now simplify x cubed, uh, 4x squared, and x squared is 5x squared, 4x and negative 6x is negative 2x, minus 24. Finished. Okay, question five. Now, I want to multiply x minus three by itself. So first thing I'm going to do is rewrite it. So x minus three is multiplied by itself. And now do exactly my same method. So x times x, x squared. x times negative three, negative three x. Negative three times x, negative three x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Careful with that one. And then simplify x squared minus 6x plus 9. Now, for this final question, this is a difference of two squares. Now, um, this means that x plus 5 and x minus 5, can we see how they look the same? They've both got an x and they both have a 5, but one is a positive 5 and one is a negative 5. So that means I can use a special rule where I square my first um, bit in the brackets, x squared, and I'm going to subtract that to whatever my number is um, squared. So 5 fives are 25. And that is job finished. I've squared the x's to get x squared, I've squared the 5's to get 25, and it's got to be subtract the 25. See more in your lesson on um, difference of two squares. Okay, let's look at section two. So, I want to factorise this. It's a quadratic. So the first thing I'm going to do is put in my empty brackets with the x's in. Okay, I'm going to write down all of my factors of 21. So that's 1 and 21, and that is 3 and 7. And I'm looking for which of these factors add to give 10, that's 3 and 7, so plus 3 and plus 7. That one's finished. This one, put in my empty brackets with the x's. Let's look at the factors of 24, so that's 1 and 24, that's 2 and 12, that is 3 and 8, uh, that's 4 and 6, and that's it. So I'm looking for the ones that add up to give 10, so that's 4 and 6, so plus 4, plus 6. Now, this one's a bit trickier. This time I've got a negative 60, exactly the first starting steps. Let's find our factors of 60. 1 and 60, 2 and 30, 3 and 20, uh, 4 and 15, uh, 5 and 12, 6 and 10. Okay, that's all of them. So now, because I want to get negative 60, and to multiply to give a negative number, I need one to be positive and one to be negative. I'm going to have one positive answer and one negative answer. So I'm looking for a number, subtract another number to get 7. So let's have a look, see if I can find it. So 15 and 4, um, I'm not going to get 7. 5 and 12, um, that could be possible. So is 12 take away 5, 7? Uh, it is. So, I found it's going to be these two. Now, I want to get a positive 7. So I want to have 12 take away 5 to give positive 7. So the 12 has to be positive, and the 5 has to be negative. And that is finished. Okay, number 4. Same thing again. Now this time, 
I have a positive number, but a negative addition. So again, let's look for my factors of 32. So that's 1 and 32, um, 2 and 16. Um, 3 doesn't go into it. Uh, 4 does, 8 times. Uh, 5 doesn't, 6 doesn't, 7 doesn't. So that's all of them. So empty brackets, x and x. So I'm trying to get negative 12. Now, I know that to get a positive 32 when multiplied, they've got to be both the same. So I know I'm going to have two negative numbers here. So which two numbers combine together to make negative 12 if they're both negative? Well, that's going to be 8 and 4. So x minus 4, x minus 8. Oops. And that's that one finished. For the final question, you'll notice this one looks a little bit like what we had here. There's no x, it's just an x squared and a minus number. So here, I'm going to use my knowledge of difference of two squares. So I'm going to have x, x. And I know my numbers are going to be plus and minus to get a negative 49. And I'm looking for the number that squares to give 49. So that's going to be plus 7 and negative 7. And if you were to check that by expanding, that will work. Now, section two was especially difficult, so well done if you got all of those. Um, if you're having any trouble with any aspects of this whatsoever, then don't hesitate to come and find me. Otherwise, I shall see you in class.